Greetings from the East Lake neighborhood of Seattle, where a six year passion project is now complete. We'll take you up and meet the artist in just a moment, as this is truly a love letter to Seattle's past and present. It's a mural featuring some of the iconic people and places, some of which have been erased by history. And it's ironic because he's celebrating them in pencil. How many pencils? <laughs> wow, a thousand, two thousand. A good picture of Chief Seattle, and he's the largest portrait because, hey, it's named after him. Uh, so I used the statue that was made in the early 1900s. I think it's downtown. I think Hendrix is not paid enough attention to for when he did his music. Of course, this is a grunge city, 100%. And I wanted people to be amazed that it is pencil, and they usually are when they say, oh my God, this is pencil, really? Uh, because you can't cheat with pencil. You've got techniques and things you can do with paint, airbrush, whatever. You can't do that with pencil. You were trained by the Art Institute, no longer there, and your mural features so many pieces of Seattle's past. Yeah, I wanted to get uh, the present as well as the past. I don't know if you've noticed, but if you look underneath all the buildings, it's upside down. Because uh, I worked on it literally. I worked my day job, and then I'd go home and I'd draw all night. I started with Clara McCarty, the first graduate of UW. And then I just worked out from there. When you look at Bill Gates, you're like, yeah. And when he scanned it for me, I was just like, wow, it's real. You went to Garfield High, so you get this oh, history. Uh, oh, yes, absolutely. I grew up on Capitol Hill. Um, basically lived here all my life. I, I know so many of these businesses and places, and, and so many of them are, are gone now, sadly. And When I first time I came here, I, I thought it was so romantic. And this isn't my last project, but it's, it's the one that's taken the longest six years because I love Seattle. Hagen says he hopes to make poster prints available and is working with the city of Seattle to hopefully find an appropriate home to hang the master mural.